Hi, I'm Richard Vague with Tycos. A relatively staid industry, the electric utility industry, is about to get very unstaid. Electricity generation is a difficult, highly regulated, capital-intensive process, and the amount generated in the U.S. has barely increased at all over the past 20 years. But that's about to change. One of the main drivers is the great decoupling of China and the U.S., which, no matter how smooth or rocky the next few years will be, has left some U.S. firms unwilling to leave their manufacturing in China. And while some of that will move to places like Mexico, Vietnam, and Turkey, some significant part will come back to the U.S. itself, the so-called reshoring of manufacturing. That alone will cause a leap in domestic demand for electricity. But there are plenty of other developments boosting that demand, including the voracious demands of crypto and artificial intelligence. Even though China's deep seek has shown that AI's computing power demands may not be as overwhelming as once thought, much to the embarrassment of the U.S. AI industry, DeepSeek demonstrated that language model training, historically one of the most energy-intensive stages of AI development, can now be done much more efficiently. The company claims it needed only 2,000 specialized NVIDIA chips to train its V3 model, compared to 16,000 or more typically required for U.S. models of similar complexity. But even with this, there will still be a significant need for large AI data centers and supporting infrastructure to power future developments. Now, with all that, we can now project a bit more confidently what electricity demand surge will look like. According to Barclays Research, electricity consumption by data centers is projected to grow 200 to 250 percent from about 175 terawatt hours in 2023 to 560 terawatt hours by 2030. So there's a great scramble for more power, with Microsoft even entering into an agreement to power back up the infamous Three Mile Island facility. According to McKinsey's Global Energy Perspective, by 2030, data centers will account for 12% of total U.S. electricity consumption, up from 4% in 2023. The United States is already the global leader in the sheer amount of AI infrastructure, accounting for 55% of global data center capacity with 16.3 gigawatts of operational capacity in 2024, according to Cushman and Wakefield's 2024 global data center comparison. This dominance is driven by robust investment and the frenzied hope for a strategic edge and technological innovation. That data center growth will be the driver of the projected growth in electricity consumption in the U.S. Overall, analysts are now projecting growth somewhere between 9% on the low side and 18% on the high side between now and 2030. And anywhere in that range will be an extraordinary increase. Which brings us to the Stargate project announced last week with such great fanfire by President Trump, the Stargate project takes this leadership of the U.S. versus the rest of the globe to the next level. With a planned $500 billion investment, $100 billion has already been spent to construct 10 state-of-the-art data centers in Texas, which if we factor in capacity costs, this spending will add an estimated 7 to 10 gigawatts of capacity an unprecedented 64% increase in U.S. capacity overall. For context, global data center capacity is approximately 30 gigawatts, meaning this single project will contribute more than a third of the world's current capacity. How will this state utility industry handle this growth? Will any such rapid growth will require a lot of spending and that inevitably means a lot of incremental debt. And happily, the level of leverage in the utility industry 
and in the overall energy industry, primarily oil and gas, has been benign, suggesting ample capacity for more debt. On the utility side, it is now 7.5% of GDP, slightly below the average of 8.1% since 2008. On the energy side, it is now 4.2%, well down from its peak of 7.5% in 2015. As an aside, you might be interested to know that the electric utility industry was the go-go industry in the U.S. in the 1910s and 1920s with rampant growth and stock prices to match. Highly leveraged roll-ups of utility companies in the 1920s was part of what led to the 1929 stock market crash and brought the subsequent tight regulation of that industry. Samuel Insull, former secretary to the vaunted Thomas Edison, became the industry's leading executive but became a pariah after the crash, vilified by President Roosevelt himself. That's it for this week. Thanks. 